Hi, and thanks again for using Inspecting Cloud. Hopefully you've had a chance to poke around with the product a bit, but just in case, I wanted to walk you through some of the best practices for creating your first property inspection report. To get started, you'll want to pull up inspectingcloud.com. From the home page, you can click on the login link in the top right hand corner. Enter your login credentials and password, then click the login button. This will take you to the main Inspecting Cloud web dashboard. From this screen, you can add and manage inspectors, add and assign properties, access and edit your inspection reports, see all scheduled inspections in map view, or view a calendar overview of all scheduled inspections and assignments. You can also alter any of your account settings. To get started, let's look at the Add Manage Inspectors area. If you're just getting started, you'll probably only see yourself listed as the Master Inspector. Master Inspector means that you have access to view all inspections and assign property inspections to sub-inspectors. If you're going to have multiple inspectors in the field doing inspections for you, this is the area you would add them. Just select Add Inspector, then fill out the recommended fields and credentials. Under Inspector Type, you can set each inspector as a Master Inspector, which gives them access to view all inspection reports, or a Sub-Inspector, which means they only have access to properties that have been assigned to them by a Master Inspector. Once you click Submit, an email will be sent to the new inspector with their login credentials. As you can see, they've been added to your inspector list. Next, we'll want to add a property for inspection. We can do that from this screen by selecting Add Property, or we can navigate back to the dashboard and click on Add Assign Property. The Manage Properties inspection of the Inspecting Cloud web application shows you all of the properties that are currently scheduled for inspection, who they are assigned to, and the status of each property. To add a new property, we simply select Add Property in the top right of the screen. Here we are prompted to enter a property name, which might be the apartment complex, building name, or commonly used name in referencing a property, like the Bateman Estate. Then we enter the property owner name and email address, inspection type, which can be classified as ingoing, routine, or exit inspection, and whether this is a recurring inspection or not. This option allows us to set a recurring inspection annually or semi-annually, and weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly for use in a vacation or other short-term rental property. By deselecting this box, I defer to a one-time inspection report for this property. Under the inspection option, I can easily assign this property to any of my current inspectors. Then, I enter the full property address. For properties in rural areas or countries that have limited Google Maps support, select the longitude latitude option to list map coordinates as opposed to the standard property address. Now, I can select the inspection date and time of appointment, which will update in the assigned inspector's mobile property list and calendar view. I also have the option to include any gate or security access codes for an inspector to use. And finally, I notate how many bedrooms, baths, and which rooms I want to have inspected. If I wish to have the entire property inspected, I simply select the All checkbox. Then, hit Submit, and we can now see this property under our Manage Properties page with a current status of Pending. From here, it's time to move from the Inspecting Cloud web application to the mobile application to complete the inspection report. First, I'll pull out my mobile device and log in via the Inspecting Cloud mobile app. Once logged in, I can select Inspection List to see all property inspections that have been assigned to my account. You can see that the property we just entered in the web application is now showing in our mobile inspection list. I can view this list in list view, map view, or calendar view, where the number of inspections on any given day is indicated by the number of dots beneath the calendar date. From any of these view modes, I simply select start once I am at the property to begin the inspection. Here, each of the rooms for inspection are listed. By swiping from left to right over any area, I'm able to rename as appropriate or add additional areas should that be necessary. 
once I click on an area, I see Inspecting Cloud's binary decision system of checkboxes, comments, and pictures. For each feature in an area, I can select yes or no to the questions of clean, undamaged, and working. Add up to four pictures per feature, and then notate with any comments I might have. Once clicking on the comment box, I have the option to type in a custom comment or select from my pre-written auto text comments. If this is your first inspection, then you will not have any auto text comments yet. Simply type in a comment that you will use often and select add, then select the comment for use and click done. From here on, the comment will be easily accessible for notation via auto text. After going through all of the features of the room, if I need to add an additional feature, I simply use the add item feature listed at the bottom of each area. This can also be used when it is necessary to document more than four photos of a particular feature. Simply add an item notating these are additional photos. Selecting the back button allows me to move to the next area or room and go through the entire process again until the inspection is complete. In the bottom left hand corner of the areas screen, you will notice our advertising pick feature. Checking this allows an inspector to take specific professional photos for use in MLS listings and other property marketing materials that you can then download in full resolution via the Inspecting Cloud web application. Clicking back takes us back to the areas screen. Here we can add general comments for the property as a whole. When we are finished, we select the back button again and hit the all done feature in the top right hand corner. This gives us a few options. From list view, we can send the inspection report as is, or we have the option to sign the report. To do this, simply tap the blue arrow to the right of the property listing. Here, you can click on inspection signature and or resident signature and sign the report with your finger using your mobile device. Once signed, Hit the send button to complete the report and send it to the web for review. Now what if you want to review this report as a PDF or email it to the property owner? To review a report, a property broker or master inspector can log in to the web application and from the dashboard select inspection reports. Here you have access to all completed inspection reports. To edit a report, Click on the pencil and make any necessary corrections or additions. To download a PDF report and view, click on the download arrow. And to email a report to yourself, your staff, or a property owner, select the email icon where you are able to use the existing email template or alter with your own phrasing. Congratulations! You completed and sent your first inspection report with Inspecting Cloud. Let us know if you have any further questions and look for more tips on best practices in your inbox. Thanks for using Inspecting Cloud.